Let's now review the user login experience. For illustrative purposes, consider the following example, which depicts a more complicated user login experience. In our example, the user has both an Adobe ID and an Enterprise ID under the same email address. First, the user has an Adobe ID or personal entitlement, and this user has also been invited to a team which has given them a team entitlement. Second, the user has an Enterprise ID, which has a CCE entitlement, and here the user has also been invited to a team which has given them a team entitlement. So, the user has two login accounts, and each login account has two different entitlement profiles. This configuration frequently prompts the question, how is it possible for a team to have both an enterprise and federated user in it? The answer is simple, it doesn't. It has an entitlement profile, and that is linked to the enterprise or federated user. We'll illustrate what this configuration and login experience looks like in the following slides. Again, here's a quick recap in the order which this configuration can occur. First, the user begins with an Adobe ID. And here, in our example, the user purchased Photoshop. Then, a team is created, and that team invites this user. At that point, when the user accepts the invite, a business ID gets attached to the user's Adobe ID. And this means there is an entitlement profile that cannot be logged into directly. Rather, it is a member of a team. In order to log into that team entitlement profile, into that business ID, the user has to first log into their Adobe ID and then select the team entitlement profile. Third step, our company purchases an enterprise product for which an enterprise org was created, the admin claimed the domain, and then added the same user to the newly created enterprise org. At this point, the console identified the user was being added into a claim domain, which is owned by the org, so it creates an enterprise ID with the same email address. Note, once a domain has been claimed, there is no longer a choice to invite the Adobe ID to an org. It will always create an enterprise ID when there is a claim domain. At this point, the user is assigned Photoshop, tied to that enterprise ID, so now there's an enterprise ID login account with an entitlement profile, Photoshop, linked to that login ID. Lastly, yet another team is created. The same user is added to this new team. Now, because there is an enterprise ID on that user's email, it is the enterprise ID that gets attached to the business ID that is invited in this case. In summary, if there's an existing enterprise or federated ID attached to an email and that email is added to a team, the business ID that is added to that org will be attached to the enterprise or federated ID, not to the user's Adobe ID.